Welcome to Trogthorpe Mobile Gaming and thank you for tuning in. We've got some treats for you today. First of all, as you can see on the screen there, we have a countdown timer. That is the time till release of PUBG Mobile Vikendi Snow Map. Now, obviously by the time you're seeing this, uh, that is out of date, but that is the current time as of recording. We are just a little over one day left. So here we go as the countdown begins. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There you go. One day, 24 hours until Vikendi launches. Are you getting goosebumps? I am. If you haven't seen Vikendi yet, you can check out my other vid. It has some sneak peeks into some of the Vikendi maps. All right, well, next point of order here. We are halfway through season four already. That's right, as you can see right here on the season pass screen, it ends January 17th, 2019. We are four weeks in and it is only an eight week season. So if you are going to rank up to crown or ace or conqueror, you gotta do it fast. Well then you might ask, what is the fastest way to rank up? How do those who are in those highest tiers get there and stay there? Well, I'm gonna show you some surefire tips here. Your rank is all based on point system and the points are awarded each match based on your final ranking. Not whether you were first or second or you got a chicken dinner, although that helps. I'm talking about this little pentagon right here. This little pentagon over here on the left. Yeah, that one. If you take a look, you'll see that there are five points that you are graded on. Survive, kill, support, supplies, and damage. Now, damage and kill are both pretty obvious. The more people you kill and the more damage you do to them, the higher your rankings in those areas will be. Support is all about how well you support your teammates giving them items, pointing out enemies, pointing out other items they can pick up, things like that. Also reviving them, helping them up if they get knocked. Supplies is how many supplies you pick up. And survive is kind of more complicated. It's not only how long you survive in the match compared to everybody else. Obviously, if you get a chicken dinner, that helps a lot. But how well you survive. Are you healing a lot? Are you just running around? Uh, that also goes to supplies, because if you're healing a lot and picking up more healing stuff, you're getting more supplies. Now take a look at this other pentagram here. The kills and damage were pretty low. The support was moderately good, but I still managed to pull 30 points out of that rating. Now, since every 100 points is a new rank, I gained almost a third of a rank in that one match alone. How did I do it? Let's take a look here. Now you'll notice I'm jumping fairly close to the edge. I'm not parachuting very long. Now a real quick side here on that note. One of the methods I tend to use to rank up fast is this long parachute. I can jump up to 2,800 meters. And look at this, by the time I touch down on this jump, which is a little over 2,000, 20 people are already gone. I'm down to 80 people left alive in this mat. All right, back to the match in question. So this one I chose to dive a little bit closer over here to San Martin and I'm going to just try and find a vehicle as quick as I can and get over to El Poso so that I am looting away from the crowds. So I touch down here. I'm going to quickly look around and see if I can find any signs of vehicles. I'm looking behind me there. I see a van. I see somebody loading up in a van there. They are going to be coming my way in a second, so I decided to get out of the way really quickly. I don't want an engagement. The whole point of this is to last as long as possible. So I just come around here and I wait till they're past. All right, now I'm going to start running toward the uh, road here again and see if I can't find a vehicle of my own. I hear a buggy coming, so again, I hide, try and get out of his view as much as I can. And another one. Look at that. I can't tell right now if they're all on the same team or not, but uh, I'm just going to avoid them as much as I can here. 
So they did shoot at each other a bit there, so I know they were on different teams. I just avoided them, finally found this uh, muscle car up here. So I'm gonna jump in it and take off as fast as I can. Somebody's shooting, I have no idea if it's at me or if somebody else, I don't really care. There's a flare off back there, again, I don't care. I just wanna get out of here and get to safety. So I'm gonna tear off over these hills here and get over to El Poso, I'll join you back up in there. All right, now we're over in El Poso, I'm back. I'm just gonna start looting up here. All right, I've been looting up here for a little bit. I'm noticing now that there are some shots fired here in El Poso, so I may not be alone. I don't know if it's a bot or a person, but I just wanted to show you my normal reaction would be charge toward the fighting and see if I can't help wipe everybody off the map so that I don't have to worry about them later. Right now, my method is survival, and so I'm just going to stay up here and keep looting. I'm going to keep an eye on the situation and get the best weapons I can to defend myself when I have to. There is more fighting going on, so I think we have at least one or two real people out there, probably at least a whole squad. Now, I've continued looting a bit. I've come over to this building, and I'm just trying to keep an eye on the situation where that shooting is. I want to know who's where, what they're doing. I'm not looking to engage. I am looking to avoid. I don't see anybody over there at the arena, but that seems to be where the shooting comes from. So I'll just keep an eye on the situation here. Now, as I get up on the roof here and start looting around a bit up here. Keep trying to watch it. Notice I just heard somebody. Somebody's close, a lot closer than the arena. They're running around here. So rather than engaging, I'm going to try and figure out where they are. It sounds like they've gone into the building. So I'm going to get over here. And I just saw somebody up in the top floor of that building, I think. Yeah, I saw somebody running for just a brief moment up there. I'm going to keep an eye on the person in the building over there, but keep these cinder blocks between me and them. And I'm also going to watch for whoever might be running around here. I do not want to actively engage, which is what I would normally do. I am trying to survive this. I'm trying to get away as long as I can. There they are. There's that person in the top of the building again. And so I'm just going to avoid engaging as much as I can here. They're healing up. Another flare over there. Again, I don't care. Alright, now I think they're starting to come toward the stairs over here. And I saw that guy go down the back a minute ago. I forgot to mention that, but I did see him go down the back. And so I'm just going to come over here and just kind of hang out, watch their footsteps so I know where they're at and where I, be ready to expect them whenever they might show up. All right, here comes his footsteps around. I'm going to strafe. I'm going to shoot him. I'm not going to stay there and try to kill him. I'm going to go reload and try and heal up as much as I can, as fast as I can here. All right, somebody's driving by. I don't know if that's their teammates coming up closer or if that's somebody that might draw their attention. I've got three sets of footsteps running around on the map there. There's one, he jumps right in. I finish him off, his buddy's in the room, I reload, and I straight and clean him. The squad is wiped. So I'm gonna go ahead and take their loot here and I will be right back. All right, I took their loot and I've done a little bit more looting and healing. Now you notice the zone just passed me. That is the very first zone. I'm not worried about it at all. Here's one of the big secrets. If you let that first zone pass you, you just keep looting, you keep going, you just boost up to the max so that, uh, so that you can't, you know, you don't lose too much life. You'll actually continue healing. You'll get a much higher rating in the end because you're getting support points right now. And you're also gathering more materials, so you're gathering uh, supplies points as well. So I'm just going to keep on looting here. Just trying to clear a little bit of space, make sure I have enough. Oh, somebody is taking shots at me, so I'm going to get hit, and I do not want to fight with them right now. I want to figure out where they are. I can't. Hell, I just want to be safe. So if I have to shoot them, I will. If I can hide from them, I will. Figure out the best thing here. All right, I never did find the person that was taking pop shots at me while I was in the amphitheater there. 
I went back and checked all the buildings where I thought they were likely to be because I did not want to run off while they were shooting at me and get killed on the run. I couldn't find them, so I gave up and I'm, I'm leaving now. Um, the zone has been closing in. We are now closing in on the second iteration of the zone, which is where it's going to start really coming to hurt me. This is kind of a funny little glitch here, so I stopped to, uh, to take a look at it here. seen this once before where a car seems to be spawning here out in the middle of nowhere and it just keeps respawning over and over and over. So this time I decided to see what would happen if I shot it. Sure enough, as it does in a lot of glitches in this game, uh, doing damage to the vehicle stopped the glitch. So anyway, that was kind of fun. Alright, so I've been driving up toward the zone for a bit here. Just thought I'd include this nice little clip of all my flips in this car. It's awesome. I love when I get a good series of flips like that and I just land and roll. So I thought I'd include that for you because it's a lot of fun. All right, so I got up here. I saw a drop coming down. I'm going toward it not because I want to engage, not because I want to raid the, the drop, but because typically, not always, but typically the drops tend to give you an indication of where the zone's likely to be going. And the whole idea at this point is survival. I want to get a good position in the zone and not have to engage too much. So I'm going to come back around here. I'm going to watch for it. There's the smoke right over there. I just see it. So I'm just going to keep kind of working toward it. Now up to the northwest here, there's nothing out there on the map. So the likelihood of anybody coming from that direction is pretty slim. So I feel pretty secure running around over this way. All right, so I watched until the smoke had been gone for a few seconds. Um, I don't see any signs of anybody anywhere nearby, so I decided to go ahead and take a peek in the box there, see if there was anything that could help my survival rate. Sure enough, I, uh, I did pick up a ghillie suit here. I opted to keep the M24 instead of the uh, Mark 14, uh, sorry, rather the, yeah, the Mark 14. I go back and forth on which one I prefer. Generally, I prefer these uh, bolt-action long bombers rather than the DMRs. But the Mark 14 is a really powerful DMR, so sometimes I just stick with that. So We're down to uh, 20 enemies left now at this point. There's a drop over that hill. Luckily, it's not going to affect me much. So I'm just going to come in here and hide out until the zone changes on me. I'm just trying to survive again, like I keep saying. I'm not trying to engage, and I think this is a really good spot to just hide. Nobody's going to bother looking in here. Sure enough, I was left alone until the zone forced me out, and so now I'm just kind of creeping my way out. I'm staying up along the northern side as much as I can because I really don't think there's much chance at all of anybody coming from the north. Um, I'm just listening for any signs of life, any footsteps, any uh, gunshots. Sure enough, there's a gunshot right there. So I know that there's somebody up on that hill there. I'm just going to hang out here in these bushes between my uh, my ghillie suit and the bush. I think I should be pretty secure. I'm going to hang out here for a minute and see what goes on. A proof here that I am only human. I just can't resist. I see the shot. It's just there for the taking easy pickings. And so I shoot him. I take a headshot there, another headshot there. And then I realize, you know what, I'm being stupid. I need to get out of here. I'm not supposed to be engaging. Sure enough, I pay the price right there. They almost kill me. I'm gonna heal up here and I'm gonna back around the backside here. All right, well, learning to uh, take your lumps and learn from your mistakes is one of the best ways to learn. So you'll see here, I'm watching this guy. I have several easy shots on him. I don't take them because I do not want to give away my position again. All right, we're getting down to the final circle here so there won't be as many cuts because I want you to kind of see how I handle all this. Right up to the very end here, I am just watching, listening, keeping an eye on what's going around. Sure enough, that guy that I did not engage with, even though I had the easy shot, the enemies that he was engaging with ended up dealing with him, and so I didn't have to. This guy right here would be such an easy kill. He has no clue I'm here. He's jumping. He's running around me. I could have finished him, but look, I ignored him, and other people did care of me. In an ordinary match, that would just drive me nuts and it, it's difficult here to not have done something about it but the name of the game here is survival not engagement so I'm just watching and if he's been knocked but he's still alive there's people running around fighting 
He's dead. Got a couple more knocks. Another death. Now this guy over here, running around, looking for somebody. He can't find me. Oh, somebody else lights him up. He's down. Somebody's got some sort of suppressed M4 or something else over here. A couple of them. They are just working it. So I am now out of zone. I don't like my position, but I do have a full minute, so I'm going to watch what happens here. It's very tempting to throw a grenade. I'm going to go ahead and toss out a, uh, a Molotov cocktail just because it's really hard to trace where those come from. I just wanted to see what happens. I don't think I actually got him. I could, again, right here, I could finish both of them. Maybe at this point I should because then I'd be down to just one enemy, but I'm just trying to stay hidden as much as I can. And right there, I probably should have come out. While he was healing his buddy, I probably should have come out and finished them. Because now they've got three of them up. They're running around up above me. They don't know where I am, but I do have to come out of my position to go to them. So I'm going to try and throw a grenade for a distraction. He doesn't work very well. And they get me. So as you can see here... 30 points gained. The Octa Pentagon is a little bit lopsided, but I gained a lot of points, and that's the name of the game. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smack the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on alerts so that you can know when new stuff is coming out. May you always see your enemies first, and may your shot be their last. Thanks for tuning in.